What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we set up this layout view and if you were paying close attention, you'll notice the buttons down here are not exactly what they look like on the live version. On the live version of the app, the buttons are rounded. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make these custom rounded buttons as a widget that you can reuse throughout your app. All right, so we're going to create a new widget and we can do this in our widgets folder and it'll be a Dart file. We're gonna name this rounded button and within this, we're going to need to import material. And then we're going to call, we're going to create a new class. So this is going to be called rounded button. And it's going to extend from the raised button. So this is essentially just going to be a modified raised button. And it's going to require two parameters, just like the raised button. So those are going to be the child and the on press. So you can. Set these both as final variables here, and we're going to, this one will be called, or the first one we'll do is the on press, which is going to be a void callback type, and this is just going to be on pressed. And then secondly, we're going to, we're going to also have the child, which is just going to be a widget. Now we can create the constructor for it, which is going to be the rounded button here and it will require those two parameters so we want to make those required and then just call this dot on pressed and this dot child and finish it out with this on pressed and child all right and then we're going to have the build here which is going to return a new theme. This theme is going to let us modify the look of that button. So theme dot of context, we want to use copy width, and then we're gonna access the button theme. All right, so within this, this is gonna let us override that theme and it's gonna let us override the shape now because we're within the button theme. So we can now override the theme of that button. So this actually allows the shape parameter here and now we can use a rounded rectangle border and then we can give it a border radius. So the border radius is essentially what will make this circular. So if we give it a border radius of circular and then make the radius 30. We do need to also pass the child here. And this is the child for the theme itself. And we're gonna to need to give it the builder. Which will essentially just tell it to build this, this rounded button with this new theme. So, all of this is essentially working. All we need to do now is change where we have our raised buttons, these two raised buttons down here to be these rounded buttons. And you'll see in our action button is where we're actually creating that. So if you go to the action button here, you can see we have this raised button. If you change that to the rounded button, you will need to import that package because it is a new package and you'll see color is not working. Let's comment that out real quick just to see if the child and on pressed are working and they are and the button is rounded to make the color work we need to actually override that and pass it through so we can add this final color here and we're going to call it color and if you wanted to make color a required parameter you can place it in here as a required parameter it doesn't really need to be a required parameter but i think i will make it one because i don't really want to default to these colors ever I want to explicitly always tell this rounded button what color it should be. Um, but once you have that set up, you can also override this button theme, which again is that raised buttons theme that we're overriding. And you can just set the button color here to be the color that we're passing in. Now, if we go back, if we save this, you'll see when we pass that color parameter through, it will work now on our rounded button. And yeah, those look much better and exactly what we want, these nice rounded buttons. You can use these throughout your whole app just using the rounded button instead of the raise button and they will work everywhere.
One last thing is the case of these buttons is lowercase. The reason for that is this action button type here is going to be saved to the database in the end of it. So I like to save to the database. If you're saving a string to the database, that's really a type. I think it's always better to make it all lowercase so that you don't really get any issues where you have a capital and then you're comparing it to a lowercase value. So because of that, we can actually update the, we can make this uppercase just by modifying the type here that we're printing out. So we can titleize this type here in the button of what's being displayed by actually using substrings. So if you use, if you use a, you can call the index of a string. So if you use a zero here, for instance, and this is going to now need to be wrapped in brackets. You can see it's just going to have the S, which is the zero index of that string. So we can use that and call two uppercase on it. And now you can see that is capitalized. And then additionally, we can add back in the rest of that type, which is going to be the type. And if you call a substring, you can give it the starting index, which is just going to be one here, since we already have index zero uppercase, the rest of it will just be after it. So that's kind of a simple way to uppercase your text. But if you don't really care about how you save it in the database, which I know we didn't cover yet, then you could just make this, or you could just pass the uppercase value into the action button widget here. But that's gonna be it for this slightly shorter video. Now we have our rounded buttons that can be reused throughout our app. In the next video, we're going to be making this calculator actually work and send information to Firebase. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below so you can be notified about that. All right, ciao for now.